Hi, Martin here with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can uninstall apps on your Mac. So how you go about um, uninstalling can depend on the app itself and there's also a few different ways that you can do it. We want to make sure we're uninstalled and we've got rid of any extra files as well to free up space on your Mac. So let's get started. Okay, so the simplest method for removing an application on Mac is to simply head to the Applications folder, which you can access by clicking on Go and then going to Applications. So from here, you'll see a big list of all the apps and software that you have installed on your Mac. If you want to remove some software, you simply need to click and then drag it down to the bin in the bottom corner. Once you let go of that, that software has now been removed. So you may have also noticed the icon that was here has now disappeared from my dock. So the majority of the time, that is the way that you're going to be able to uninstall a program on the Mac. So another method that you could use is if you've got a piece of software that you want to remove, say I've got one here, what I could do is go Command Delete and then what that will do, you can see here that I've got this saying it's moving it to the bin and once I enter my password, that software will be moved to the bin and removed. So that was Command and Delete when you're clicked on the app icon and that will move it to the bin for you as well. So another method for removing your software um, is via Launchpad. So if you click on the Launchpad icon here near the bottom left hand side of the dock, we've got a view here that's very reminiscent of an iPhone or an iPad. And if you've ever removed an app on one of those devices, this method is going to be very similar. So if I take any icon and then click and hold, what you'll see is that now all of my icons are starting to jiggle. So from here, I can see which apps I'm able to remove. And most of the time, these are Apple applications that have been downloaded from the App Store or maybe already came on the device. But if you see an X, you can simply hit the X and it'll say, are you sure you want to delete the application? Go ahead and click Delete. And then that application has now been uninstalled. So sometimes when you try and uninstall software, you may get an error saying that the application is being used. All you'll need to do is quit the application, use one of these methods again, and you'll be able to uninstall the software. So the last thing that I want to point out, so all of those methods will remove your software uh, from your Mac. However, sometimes apps leave behind what they call orphan files, and they continue to clutter up your hard drive. So in this case, there are some specific folders that we can go and check and clean up to make sure that you've got all of the uh, kind of storage space that you need and you've got rid of any remnants that you might need uh, or that you don't need anymore from the software you've uninstalled. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Go and we're going to then click on Go to Folder. Now, I have in here one of the folders that we are going to visit. So I have this kind of squiggly line which you'll find um, in on a button on your keyboard near the top left hand corner forward slash library forward slash application support so if you enter that into this bar and then hit return what we have here is essentially each application you install will add some files onto your device and these don't automatically get removed when we uninstall our software so you can see the first application I uninstalled was called Komodo Edit, and I've got two folders here of files. So I can simply highlight them, and then I can go and drag them to the bin as well, and then they're uninstalled. Now, there are a number of these folders that may contain orphan files, so I'll put the list up on the screen now, and I'll also add it in the comments below. So you can just copy and paste those from the comments, uh, the description below, and then you can uh, delete the files as needed. So the very final thing is anything in particular, when we've dragged them over to our bin, is that we will need to secondary click our bin, 
and click empty bin, okay? So our software won't fully uninstall until we've gone about emptying that bin. So now my bin's empty, all the software that I have either dragged in or used the shortcut is gone, and all of the orphan files I've dragged to the bin have gone as well. That application is completely removed, and I now have the extra space on my Mac. So I hope that this video has been useful for you. Um, if it has, please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment below, and then subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.